the journalists should be arriving soon, but President Obama has already called the families expressing delight that they will be reunited soon. Laura Ling and Yuna Lee greeted former President Bill Clinton with a handshake and a smile before boarding a private Boeing 737 aircraft Tuesday. Following a quick stop in Japan, they continued on towards U.S. soil. Clinton's wife, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, on an official trip in Kenya this morning, praised the journalist's release. I was very pleased to get the news that uh, my husband's plane had taken off from Pyongyang with the two uh, young women on board. A senior White House official says the process was several months in the making. In July, Lee and Ling told their families by phone that the North Koreans specifically asked for Clinton to come to North Korea and that the journalists would be freed if he did. And they had their reasons. It's been their dream for years to have an American president come to North Korea. Former Vice President Al Gore, co-owner of the TV network where Ling and Lee work, relayed the message to Clinton. Clinton's arrival was met warmly. The landmark visit included an hour and 15-minute meeting with North Korea's so-called dear leader, Kim Jong-il, and a two-hour VIP state dinner. Clinton also held an emotional meeting with Laura Ling and Yuna Lee before the special pardon was issued by the North Koreans. But the White House insisted Tuesday it was not an official this a, trip. This was a, a private uh, mission. The short-term victory could have long-term implications for the Obama administration's rocky relationship with the elusive North Koreans. Bill Clinton's trip may have resolved uh, potential sticking point as far as multilateral negotiations and also bilateral negotiations. But the benefit is two-sided. The North Koreans, long isolated by the international community, can show an act of good faith on the world stage and flex their muscles to their own people. North Korea is going to use this for propaganda purposes. The Americans, the arch enemy, are coming to North Korea um, to talk to our dear leader, Kim Jong-il. Former U.S. ambassador it, it to the U.N., John Bolton, told ambassador Fox Bolton, News he is concerned the negotiations could the set a dangerous I mean, precedent. I mean, this is a classic case of rewarding bad behavior, the seizure of these two basically innocent Americans. Obviously, all of us want to get them out, but we want it done in a way that doesn't increase the risks in the future for other Americans. While the White House says this was strictly a humanitarian mission, a White House official says, I'm sure President Clinton gave Kim Jong-il his views on denuclearization, and his views are well known, as you know.